Money Pot Channel is a library of educational content created from a biblical perspective. The content provided on the Money Pot Channel is designed to improve viewers' knowledge of world economics, events, cryptocurrency, and much more. The information provided here on the Money Pot Channel is not considered financial advice. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to make another video. Welcome back to the Money Pot Channel. It is your boy, Elijah, back here in action. I hope that you have an amazing day, and I greatly appreciate you for clicking on this video. If you clicked on this video, you are probably asking yourself the question, how does Bitcoin, how does cryptocurrency have value? Well, you clicked on the right video. In this video, we're going to be explaining how cryptocurrencies have value, what gives them value, and why they're going to be valuable here in the future. So here in 2022, we are realizing that fiat money is slowly starting to run its course. Not even just the United States dollar, the Euro, the Yuan, all the top currencies are experiencing inflation in their economies. And with this being the case, it is extremely important to have a hedge against your fiat currency losing its value. With the life cycles of fiat currencies potentially coming to an end or to a place of no return and loss of value, many individuals are starting to seek for a different alternative to pay for goods and services and looking to have assets that are going to be able to provide a store of value. And we see after the 2008 financial crisis, the emergence of Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, the first uh, digital currency that can be used to pay for goods and services. For us to understand how Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have value and how they can be valuable, let's take a look at this definition called store of value. Now, essentially, a store of value is an asset, a commodity, or even a currency that can be saved, retrieved, and exchanged in the future without deteriorating, without depreciating in its value. So essentially, you know, this item can be acquired and over time should be worth the same amount or more than what it was originally acquired for. And this is really important, especially as we are seeing fiat currency lose its store of value. Some of the other assets and commodities that have a store of value are typically precious metals, silver and gold. And we see ever since this financial crisis of 2008, we see a new cryptocurrency come up, Bitcoin. But from that, many other cryptocurrencies have been created that also can be used as a store of value. All right, so now that we have this understanding of what a store of value is, let's talk about what actually you know makes cryptocurrency valuable. And let's go back to economics in the basic notion of supply and demand. First, let's get into the supply side, of course. So as we are seeing here with fiat currencies, losing their store of value. This is because the supply has increased for these fiat currencies. We see central banks printing out dollar bills at record paces. And because of this, we are seeing the devaluing of currencies. Now with Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies, they have a finite supply of um, coins that can that are available to those that want to have that cryptocurrency. For example, we see here Bitcoin has a maximum supply of 21 million coins, which means no one can create, print, or make more than 21 million Bitcoins. Because with this finite supply, and there being a capped amount of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in circulation, as demand 
increases and the supply stays the same, the price is going to go up. Tell me One last thing on the supply side is the notion of scarcity. You see, Dogecoin can have all the hype in the world, but it, if it has an unlimited supply of Dogecoins, then there's no scarcity. And that means that the supply is unlimited and the demand and the price, the value of Dogecoin can only go so high. So make sure when you are looking at cryptocurrencies to see if they have a store of value and if they will for the future, make sure that they are scarce, that they have a finite supply of cryptocurrency in circulation. Now let's get to talking about demand for cryptocurrency. We know that ever since the 08 financial crisis, we've seen the emergence of many other cryptocurrencies outside of Bitcoin. And there has been high demand for Bitcoin's uh, you know, use for payments of goods and services. And we see Bitcoin got up to 60,000 plus last year. And we're seeing, you know, many other cryptocurrencies have crazy gains. And I believe that the demand for cryptocurrency being used as a store of value is only going to increase as we go throughout this decade. We are seeing central banks and governments start to research and pilot, pilot central bank digital currencies and also implement them into their society. And also, we are seeing more and more businesses accept cryptocurrency for payments. We see with Elon Musk buying Twitter. Could we see the integration of a cryptocurrency with Twitter? I think that that would be smart on his end. But as we see the demand for cryptocurrency uh, increase. We're going to see the price of certain cryptocurrencies increase as well because of the way that they are useful to society. So it is extremely important to have assets that are going to retain their store of value. As we see central banks are continuing to print more and more money, the value of dollar bills is going to decrease. And that is just the math, seriously. And it is important for us to be looking for assets that are going to retain their store of value. Precious metals historically have had and retained their store of value. Silver and gold specifically. And we now see that with the introduction of cryptocurrency, certain cryptocurrencies are going to have that store of value. And even more so, certain cryptocurrencies are going to have even more store of value because of how useful they are for the industries that they serve. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ISO 2022 cryptocurrencies that are going to be providing a lot of value in the business and finance world in the you know supply chain management world in freaking healthcare and real estate in law and voting and many other industries so take that into consideration uh, i hope that you're able to find this video informational and beneficial in some way shape or form realize that you want to have assets that are going to retain their store of value and as we look towards the future cryptocurrency is going to be in my opinion the best store of value um with the times that we are in like dislike share subscribe do what you do but i appreciate you and until next video stay blessed stay healthy stay prayed up peace